Welcome back to the channel. Here's my coverage of the Ford press conference that took place at the SEMA 2019 trade show in Las Vegas, Nevada on Tuesday, November 5th, 2019. Towards the end, Jay Leno joins the press conference and reveals his wonderfully restored Ford Bronco. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It's free to you. And now let's get to the press conference. Product Development and Purchasing Officer, Pao Tai Tang. Good morning, everyone. What a great crowd. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's always great for us to be in Vegas, especially with our SEMA partners and all of our media friends. Now, we all know SEMA is the place to be if you're a car and truck enthusiast. And we're so proud to have the winning Ford portfolio and our full lineup on display here. No other OEM is more at home at SEMA here than Ford. And in addition to what you see here on our stand, please be sure to check out the Ford Outfront Ride Experience. We have adrenaline-pumping demonstrations that feature the Mustang GT350, the Ford Raptor, and much more. You might even catch Ken Block performing the ultimate thrill ride. Now, no other OEM is more passionate about making great products that customers love at SEMA than Ford. We're proud that year after year, vehicles like the F-150 and the Mustang are among the most accessorized vehicles at SEMA. This is so important to us because it means that we're making good on our commitment to offer something special to the community of Ford performance enthusiasts, race fans, do-it-yourselfers, and tuners, and of course, all of our aftermarket partners. You know that old saying, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? Well, in this case, the opposite is true. We take a lot of inspiration from this show and bring it back to help improve our offerings. That's why we recently announced new addition to our parts and accessory lineup to give Ford owners more opportunities to personalize their Ford vehicles. Say you want a stealthier look for your F-150, Super Duty, or Ranger. Well, check out our black appearance packages, featuring the first ever black Ford oval and additional accents like a black painted grill, body color bumpers, black running boards, and much more. There are also Ford performance parts to improve the looks and capability of your vehicle. For F-150 and Ranger, there's a new off-road leveling kit, rigid lighting, a worn winch, and Fox shocks. On Ranger, we also offer upgraded off-road wheels and packages. Ford Performance is teaming up with ARB 4x4 accessories to design and develop off-road accessories and vehicle recovery parts aimed at the Ford enthusiast communities, starting with a winch-capable front bumper on the North American Ranger. All of these parts are available to be ordered directly through Ford or installed at the Ford dealership. Now, my absolute favorite part of being at SEMA is having the opportunity to look around and find inspiration from the custom show vehicles that our SEMA partners have created. As part of our winning portfolio strategy focused on trucks, utilities, performance, and electrification, you'll find the very first custom examples of the all-new Ford Explorer and the Ford Escape here on our stand. With rear-wheel drive and our first ever 400 horsepower eco-boosted Ford ST model, Explorer is the first product that's suited for customers who want to move their families, while at the same time, they want a vehicle that also moves their hearts. Escape is fresh with an all-new silhouette targeted at customers shifting out of passenger cars into a vehicle that offers more space, a taller ride height, and a 250 horsepower EcoBoost engine. And Expedition continues to carry our flag as our largest SUV in the Ford lineup, with sales up more than 50% this year. You'll also find the latest examples of trucks and vans on our stand, including the Ford Transit. With available all-wheel drive, it's perfect for those customers looking to live the van life while using their vans as their wheels to enjoy life's adventures. We've upgraded the Super Duty 2 with an all-new, best-in-class, 7.3-liter V8 gas engine and a new third-generation, best-in-class, 6.7-liter Power Stroke diesel engine with more than 1,000 pound-feet of torque. The all-new Trevor off-road package combines an upgraded suspension, off-road running boards, and 35-inch maximum traction all-terrain tires. 
These are the largest tires available in a heavy duty pickup truck. And F-150 continues as an aftermarket all-star, offering a variety of choices to help customers find exactly the right combination to meet their needs, whether you're looking for a street truck or a high-speed desert performance truck. Ranger is back and it's growing in popularity, helping customers find adventure wherever they go. It's even caught the eyes of Von Gittin Jr. Of course, my favorite is the Ford Mustang. It's the heart and soul of the Ford Motor Company, and it's also the world's best-selling sports coupe. Earlier, I mentioned electrification. Just like EcoBoost has created some of the most fun to drive and efficient vehicles, we're now focused on electrifying our most popular and iconic nameplates to deliver unprecedented levels of capabilities and improve efficiency that's only possible through electric propulsion. Electrification is going to be game-changing and transform performance. If you don't believe me, take a look at this video. That's the all-electric Mustang-inspired performance SUV that's going to go on sale next year. But our aftermarket partners are already dreaming up new ways of electrifying the Ford lineup. Now, check out this Webasto's take on a fully electric Mustang Coupe. It's a one-off project vehicle that's on display here just to my right with 900 horsepower, over 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, made into a genuine six-speed manual transmission to keep the driver fully engaged and in total control of the fun. We can't wait to tell you more about our plans to electrify the Mustang on November 17th. Now, I'm going to turn it over to Dave Parasak to tell you about the rest of our news. Dave is Ford's product line director for our Icon products, which includes the Mustang and the Bronco, in addition to having previously managed Ford Performance and overseeing the engineering of the fantastic Ford GT. Please help me welcome Dave Parasak. Thanks, Hal. It's really great to be here today as I look forward to this show each and every year. Now, Hal talked a lot about electrification. There's no doubt the impact that it's having on our industry, and definitely the way that we look at performance. But right now, I want to talk about something else that's coming pretty soon. And what I'm talking about is the Bronco, which debuts next year. Now, let's talk about some news we just made yesterday. We're celebrating the 50th anniversary of Ford's Bronco entry in the Baja 1000. And in 1969, the late Rod Hall drove a stock 4x4 Bronco to the overall Baja 1000 win. To this day, it remains the only stock 4x4 to ever take that overall crown. And now, with the all-new Bronco R, we're going back to Baja this year. Pretty cool, huh? The Bronco R prototype will prove out and test the all-new Bronco suspension, architecture, and powertrain. We can't think of a better and more fitting tribute to Rod and his legacy. Now, Bronco is clearly one of Ford's most iconic vehicles, and the anticipation for the all-new Bronco that's coming next year is incredible. You can also see it here in this stage and outside of Ford, on fr Ford out front in the Bronco Corral. Now we know what Bronco means, and we promise that the new Bronco will be true to its iconic heritage. We know there are many Ford fans out there who are excited about its return, and in fact, some can't even wait and are paying tribute to Bronco's legacy today. Please give me a, help me give a warm welcome and welcome Jay Leno to the stage. <laughs> The 
Lamont with the Ford GT. He was the engineer behind the car, so I think let's have a nice round of applause for that. Hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where do you want to start? Well, you're fortunate enough to own a first generation 1968 Bronco. Well, actually, I do have a 1968 Bronco. What happened was, on my last day of the Tonight Show, I left the show, my fellow talk show is Craig Ferguson, as a smart ass joke. He was driving around to use car lot, and he saw this Bronco. It didn't run, blown engine, dented, smashed, and he said, I'm gonna buy that for Leno. So he had a call the tow truck, had it dumped in my parking space in NBC, <laughs> had a note filled with expletives saying, hey Jay, this POS is for you. You're not sure retired, you spend the rest of your life trying to fix this piece of crap. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, he's not a car guy. He had no idea what he had given him. When I saw it, I went, I went, oh, I love a 6 exactly. I think it was a piece of crap. So, but I decided, what am I going to do with this thing? How should I do it? And then I was in Detroit, and I got a chance to look at what the new Bronco was coming. And, and well, I, it's safe to say it inspired me, wouldn't you say? I think, yeah, you, you called me up, you're pretty excited about it. I was very excited about it. What I wanted to do was, I love the classic look of the first generation Bronco. Much like the first generation Mustang, sometimes there are things you just get right the first time. You know, and I always wanted to combine that with maybe a modest ten times the most power. Yeah, ten times is about it. Ten yeah. times is good, I think, because I live in a hilly area. Um, it's, 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 well, go ahead. What, what do well, why don't we, why don't we show them what we have and then we'll talk about it. Okay. You guys want to see it? We'll show you. Yeah. As you can see, it looks like a 68 Bronco. <laughs> well, that was important to you, right? You wanted to keep it? I wanted to keep the classic look, just a, a tiny bit of chrome. I like the white wheels. I like, I want it to look like what it's supposed to be. I wanted to make a bigger, stronger, faster, better, safer version of what it was in 68. Well, we did a lot of that. Yeah. Why don't you tell them what's under the hood? What's under the hood, and this is the only one in the world that has it, it has the engine from the new Shelby GT 500. It's 760 horsepower, and it's the only one in the world made it to a manual transmission. Tremec did a wonderful job. They sure did. They, they gave us a bespoke transmission to this. This car only comes, as you know, the Shelby only comes with the eight-speed automatic, but I'm kind of old school, and a Bronco should have a manual transmission. Yeah, Shelby has to do a clutch. You wanted the, the manual, right. but you wanted a 760 horsepower. Right, right, right. <laughs> and we did this thing a little differently. Just but I, a you know, normally we built drive. everything at my shop, but I, uh, you know, Dave kind of got into this project. We wanted to find someone who could really build it right and do a beautiful job. And that person that's here today, Teresa, come on up here. Come on, Teresa. Hey, Teresa, that was good. Tell us about your shop. Yeah, I'm Teresa Contreras from LGE CTS Motorsports, and uh, we were lucky enough to build this uh, sleeper right here, the 68 Bronco right behind us with uh, Kinster and SEMA Garage and, and with Dave and Ford, so it's been great. No, I think it's great, and my wife knows what woman I've been with all these months now. <laughs> <laughs> so, honey, I'm going to see this chick now, and uh, so, but yeah, so but she did a great job, this is her vision, and it's a fantastic color. I love this, it's a dark blue, it looks almost black. I mean, there's little touches, the, the grill's a bit more modern. Um, and oh, and Kinzer did the chassis. Yeah, Kinzer did the chassis. Oh, no, this is a company. You know what's great? I love a manu American manufacturing. And the great thing about this whole SEMA experience is, all these guys here, some are big companies and some are just little guys that invented a ratchet or a tool in their garage, and they all have a booth here, and they all get to take their product national, and you all get to see it. And I would say, I think it's fair to say 95 or 98 percent of the of the stuff here is American made and American manufactured, and that's what's really fun. I mean, this was done using American labor, American, American female labor, right here. There you go, right there. Uh, and it's good to blow off the guys once in a while, isn't it? Yeah, it's just kind of blow their doors off. Yeah, there you go. And it, it's, it's really cool. And uh, as I walk through and I see that anybody here could be the next Henry Ford if they wanted to be, because, because 
It's Americans helping other Americans. You make a car, somebody else makes a tire, somebody else makes the wheels, she does the work, boom, 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 and you get a prosperity, and you get a vehicle that's safer, faster, and probably better gas mileage. You're pretty damn close. Pretty damn close, I Yeah, I mean, this came with a 289 with, what, about 140 more, something like that? Something like that. Something like that back in the day. It probably got around 16 miles per gallon. Now you've got 760 horsepower, and a better handling car with better brakes, everything all the way down. So speaking of the 760 horsepower, who wants to hear it? Want to hear it? Yeah. I don't know if we want to do this, let's do it. Let's up. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. How about another hand for Teresa, ladies and gentlemen? This concludes the Ford Press Conference from the SEMA 2019 show. Make sure you hit that like button if you like the content, and check out my other SEMA 2019 videos on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.